Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Yushin Knows Rambo. I'm coming back with a new and improved video. Oops, my video's on YouTube. Sorry about that. But, um, anyways, um, Papa Rambo is going to make a new and improved video about a rant that I wanted to make. And this is about a team that I dislike and their quarterback that I dislike. This is mainly going to be about the quarterback. And, um, well, I wanted to, you know, give some opinions out that I thought I should share and whatnot. So, Enjoy. So, anyways, what I'm going to be talking about is Florida State, the number one motherfucking team of the nation. Um, my team ended up winning yesterday. The OU Sooners they beat the West Virginia Mountaineers, 45 to 33. Very, very good game. Is very well fought, but we ended up winning. We were the best team. No, we were just as good as each other, but we ended up, uh, you know, catching them in their own game, and we ended up beating them. So, uh, it was a good game. But, anyways, uh. All I'm going to be saying is is that uh, Florida State, the number one team in the nation, has one of the most jack-off quarterbacks that I've ever frickin' seen. Now, he may be great on the field, I understand that, but he's a frickin' jerk-off in real life, let me tell you right now. And uh, that great man, my friend, is Jameis Winston. <laughs> oh, man, hopefully I don't regret what I'm saying, because one of my school teachers is a Florida State fan, and hopefully she doesn't see this. Well, she agrees with me. The dude's a total jerk off, and he's a, he's an asshole. But um, let me just explain. <laughs> Florida State, <laughs> they got one of the worst, you know, just personal worst of worst people. Like Joe Mixon of OU. Um, he was a bitch, man. <laughs> He was a little bitch, let me tell you that right now. I mean, like, he beat up a lady, and he ended up getting permanently banned off the team. Which, um, that's not cool. And Rhett Bomar, he ended up stealing money, and uh, he ended up getting kicked off that team, and he went to San Houston State because he was being a faggot, and he didn't know how to start a game. Like, no one is honest anymore in football, which makes me sad. But this Jameis Winston guy, <laughs> he, um... <laughs> He's a jerk off in my opinion. He's just he just is. I mean, really? I mean, come on. I mean, you raped a lady and you got away with it, and you also stole crab legs, which I th I thought that was pretty funny. Um crab legs, you know, I thought that was pretty funny, you know, but still um freaking crab legs and also the other day, you made the mistake of walking up and yelling some obscene gestures toward women, obscene phrases by the way towards women. And you ended up getting banned from Clemson. And Florida State had to wing it. Now, they deserved to lose that game. Trust me, they deserved to lose that game. They should have been upsetted by Clemson. But no, they had to wing it, and they won the game with that Sean McGuire dude. Now, in my opinion, Sean McGuire just sucked as a quarterback, and it should have been a dominant game over the number one team in the state versus 22 Clemson. Now, I wish Clemson would have beaten Florida State's ass like a like a... I don't even know, but I wish they would have beaten their asses. Just I wish they would have upsetted them because I would have loved to see Florida State just get angry at Jameis Winston. Now, first of all, let me just say something right now: the college people give Jameis Winston they 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 freaking puppy dog his ass. That's what they do. I mean, they don't. How do I say this? They're pretty light on him. No, they don't, they don't, like, arrest him for anything. Like, all the charges he had were dropped. But, um, if you pulled that stuff in NFL, like Adrian Peterson and Ray Rice, dude, <laughs> you'd probably be in prison right now under charges of that. So, um, you're lucky that Florida State went really, really light on you. And <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that why do you constantly frickin' mess up all the time? I mean, really, you won the Heisman Trophy. And then... What? Is it because you won the Heisman Trophy? You think you're just some sort of frickin' god? First of all, dude, there are many, many, many great players that have won the Heisman Trophy and are great in real life. Like frickin' Tim Tebow. He's one of my... He was one of my... I used to frickin' dislike him as a quarterback because he beat OU a long time ago before I learned how great of a person he really was, and now I like Tim Tebow. Now I root for him in games. I even have a poster of him. Right, you know, it, uh, you can't even see it, but it's like, it's it's right behind me. I mean, it's right in front of me, sorry. But, um, anyways, I just wanted to say that I really, you know, 
I love my videos, man. Uh, sorry, I was reading the comment. Um, anyways, <laughs> but, um, this freaking Jameis Winston guy is, <laughs> he's a freaking jerk-off, in my opinion. No, he's, as a quarterback, he's amazing. I've seen him play. Um, if OU played him, um, either we would get them really, really close, or we wouldn't be standing a chance. Now, OU has beaten, um, Bob Stoops is one of the greatest coaches, in my opinion, of all time, and if he ever got, like, fired... Or he was ever, you know, let go. I'd be freaking petitioning OU University. I'd be calling them the biggest freaking fool, fools. Because um, Bob Stoops would have been a loss. Bob Stoops. Uh, Bob Stoops, if you ever fired him, he would be a loss. He would be a huge loss to OU. And, um, like, you know, Barry Switzer was one of the greatest. And Bud Wilkinson was one of the greatest. But Jamal, not Jamal, J Jameis Winston is a douchebag. He always has been a douchebag. He always will be a douchebag, and hopefully, um, Florida State, you will have your asses beaten, because, trust me, you will fall. When someone comes up great, they will fall one day. Like, think of Miami. They tried to beat OU's 47-point streak, and they failed. You know why? Because OU's the only team that has ever pulled off a 47-game winning streak. The only college team ever to do that, which is freaking awesome. I love OU for doing that. And under Bud Wilkinson's leadership, we wouldn't have done that. But those jerk-off Notre Dame people, if you like Notre Dame, don't take no offense. But there's some teams that have cheated us and pulled off some bull crap on us. And, uh, <laughs> um, um, I'm not a huge fan of them. Like, Oregon? I freaking cannot stand Oregon after that stuff they pulled off on us in 2006. And they don't even deserve to be number two right now. So, I hope they freaking get beaten. But, uh, I have another teacher who likes Oregon, so hopefully he doesn't see this, but I freaking hate Oregon. I'm so sorry. I also hate Notre Dame, because they ended our 47-point winning streak, and they've beaten us a lot of times, until 2013, when we finally handed them their asses at home. No, not at home, we beat them at South Bend, Indiana, but if you guys are Notre Dame fans, take no offense to this, I'm just saying this competitively as a, you know, as an OU fan, I'm just saying, you know, you know, y'all good. But, um... <clears throat> I, I think, you know, uh, pff, but Jameis Winston's a frickin' douchebag, and he always is, and he always has been. And, um, and he has a Twitter, so if you want to go on Twitter and go hate on him for me, that be, would be, sorry, that would be great, because he's just, he's a frickin' douchebag. He's just a horrible human frickin' being, like, seriously. He should just get frickin' off FSU, man. Fire him! Dang it. Get him off the team. Fuck. And, uh, by the way, Florida State should have lost that one last night. They should have frickin' lost that one. And, um, also, I'm just, um, uh, before I end this video, all I'm gonna say is, is if you guys are Notre Dame fans, and you're gonna watch this, first of all, I'm an OU fan, and I'm just saying this, um, sportingly. Now, as, uh, people, I'm not so sure about Notre Dame. I bet they're alright. And, plus, I do like that they're, you know, a Catholic school, so I respect that. But... Because they've beaten us so many times, I don't like them. So I'm sorry. You know, that's just to make an explain explanation for that. Such as Oregon. Their quarterback coach is amazing. I love that guy. But um, as a team, or as as they've played us, or as an OU fan, I freaking hate them. So, you know, I'm just saying that right now, man. Just making stuff cleared up. But uh, Jameis Winston is a douchebag, and he always has been, and he always will be. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, guys, hopefully um, he'll get off of FSU as fast as he frickin' can because I want him gone. I want him frickin' to the NFL. And then when he pulls something like that again, when he thinks he's all frickin' smart and all that, he'll get frickin' arrested and sent to jail like Adrian Peterson. I felt so betrayed when Adrian Peterson did that because he was from OU. And that just, and he says he's a Christian, which is sad because, dude, if you're a Christian, then why the frick do you beat your child with a branch? Anyways, that's enough for me now, but my name's been Rambo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, my rant. Uh, I don't have that good ranting skills, but you know, it's alright at least. So, I'll talk to you guys later. My name's been Rambo. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys later. My name's been Rambo, and hopefully you guys have learned some major bullcrap. Let's talk to you guys later, my name's been Rambo. Goodbye.